Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where you guys are. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Soul Saint here, and I got a banger of a video coming at you guys. Uh, we're going to be talking about the cursed city of uh, Nistranos, or Sintranos, excuse me. Um, and we're going to talk about our pathing as well as how our experience was. So we'll give you like a little bit of a highlight about, about our pathing and what we're going for. But to kind of give you a quick summary about what we're going to be aiming for, pretty much I'm, I'm trying to power farm my way through and navigate through the towns to get the keys to get access to Amias, the, the new boss that's going to be the big baddie, the Lunar Archon. Uh, as of right now, we got one key, and uh, at the time of this recording, we'll have a second key available to us to grab, and we'll be making progress towards the third one, hopefully, as we progress along the way, so we can take on the boss on the fourth and final day. Maybe maybe five days, it may take in total to get all the keys and, and to get to them. So, um, if you haven't already, considered like liking this uh, video, as well as uh, commenting and subscribing, and let us know what you think about the Cursed City so far. Feel free to do so in the comments below, and enjoy the video. Alright, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So, we did get a little bit of a teaser from the other videos I did the other day, so I kind of know a little bit, but I want to see it in, like, actual real time, so you guys don't get, like, a genuine POV of my expectations, alright? So, welcome to the Cursed City. You'll need to clear stages for, uh, stages across four districts by moving along paths and defeating enemies before climbing the Eclipse Tower and fighting Amius, the Lunar Archon. You, <coughs> excuse me, you'll face new, uh, new challenges, familiar and new challenges alike, including double boss stages. Taking on two of Teleria's familiar foes at once will reward you with an Eclipse Key as well as other awesome rewards. You'll need three Eclipse Keys to enter the Eclipse Tower at the heart of the Cursed City. Um, there, you'll face off against Amius, the Lunar Archon, and decide the fate of the Centranos. Good luck. Okay, so you'll need three keys to enter it um, at the heart of the Cursed City. And I'm assuming you have to fight the bosses to get the keys. Double bosses to get keys. That's what it looks like. <coughs> Can you jump around? Every stage has requirements that you must meet in order to complete it. They might restrict the rarity, faction type, or affinity of champions you can use. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That seems to be the case, huh? Oh, this is neat. You can just jump in and hit whichever one. In order to get there, you have to do uh, an exact path today anyways. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I'm rushing the red keys to get cooked by the boss faster. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I want to, I want to tackle the boss early on. But uh, there's no need to rush right now since everybody's only going to be able to do a certain amount of keys a day. In the sense of, like, I want to plan my route accordingly. So I'm assuming if you beat these stages, you could just go straight to this one and then kind of continue from there. So I think that's what I will do. I'll just go boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Grab that one. That's two keys. And then I think I, what I'll do is I'll pivot from here. And then work my way. Where's the other key at? Work my way straight there. So, that's Bommel and Ice Golem. Ooh, that's a weird combo. Yeah, me too, Ron. I'm very excited about it, to be real with you. Yeah, it, it's having a Mercy is neat, though. It does have a Mercy? Please note, it's going to be summoned for sure. It's going to be... Champions that cannot be summoned from shards cannot be summoned for cursed remnants after 24 times without receiving a mythical champion. The mercy system will activate each subsequent summon without getting a mythical champion. Will increase the chances of getting one by one. Don't okay, oh, that's good. Fun. That's good. Don't Here's how many we get a month. Doesn't seem like more than two to three. Um, uh, let's take a look. There's got to be some areas where you get it. I'm assuming the boss fights are where you get it. There's no visual, visual representation of, like, actually acquiring it. Now, I'm curious about these chests, though, from some of the bosses. There's a, there's a hard version. This is a, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So they're actually inside the, the small areas. You might be onto something. Depending on the quantity you get for per each one, might dictate that a little bit. See another one up there. How about on normal? Is there an equivalency on normal? The drops are definitely different. You see that? You don't get any on normal. Some glyphs and stuff though. That's kind of nice. Sorry, I wanted to see the, the the drops. I think I'm gonna push hard early. I think that's gonna be the play for me. I think most of the loot that I care for, that I want, is gonna be on 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 hard. You can get 10 remnants from the first section, 25 from the other section, so 40 from the fourth, and then the 100 from the boss. Oh, we forgot about the boss, too. Yeah, the boss gives you some as well. So, honestly, it is worthwhile to kind of race towards this. 
if you want to start getting the ball rolling a little bit earlier. That's actually going to be huge. Do we know what these chests are? It'd be cool to kind of see, like, what you get for rewards. I'm assuming... Uh, so the big thing that I care about... I know it's going to sound weird, but I care about the new gear set. That is the most important thing for me right now. I believe, and this is my my intuition, is that the new the new sets are going to be the meta. What are the occult cur cursed candles for again on the quest section? Yeah, yeah. You see it. It's a big deal too, man. I think this guy's going to be... He's going to be pretty cool. I love the way he looks, especially his transform state. Bro, his design looks just phenomenal. My reaction when I when I looked at it live on the video, well, I was doing it. I was like, I was learning about him and working. Like, basically, when I did the video for him, uh, it, it came out yesterday, by the way, on the YouTube side. Um, I actually like I was reading it all for the first time myself. So everything you saw from like a genuine perspective and reaction was it was just genuine. It was genuine. I was like, okay, this is cool. You know, I had some like question marks and this that, and the end, and you know, like it, that's how it goes. But all right, let's get started. Let's get started. I'm actually gonna go towards the boss too. Oh, there's limitations. Ooh. Let's see, what do we care about? This is wave content, no? Oh, this changes things. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I think we just throw some stuff at him just to see how it feels. Yeah, we're bringing out Timmit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's try that. You think Yannick can solo it? Really? Oh shit, okay. Is that easy? Say less. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can be soloed. <laughs> Alright, my bad. She does like half her damage right there. Look at that shit. Sheesh! The real carry. Chunkers. I could have just hate three. I'm trolling. Okay, it's that easy. All right, cool. This is hard, right? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Ain't no way. Okay, so each area has its own difference of uh, factions. That's interesting. That's cool. What are these two could do with it? I kind of just want to, like, run it down, though, to be honest. Oh, shit, I got hurt, too. Oh, damn. Screw it. We're bringing Deli on this round. Let Bellower cook? Oh, shoot. Maybe next round. Maybe next round. Maybe next round. Oh my god, she could just run it down herself. The queen. This kind of isn't fair. Poor cobble market. I'm running it down. Yo, free energy. It's nice. All right, so we go boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 right? So it's going to be C7, Bommel, which goes to C11, 16, 17, and then that, right? All right, so this is like normal Bommel, right? Oh, but it's different in the aspect that you have to use specific champions. Oh, that's different. You can't just, like, beat it down. Ooh. Ew. What do y'all think is the tech here? So every stage has its own set of restrictions. That's kind of cool. Don't die? Well, we'll see. Why not? Wait, is there something I didn't know? wait on that one because he likes to reset his spaghetti. I 
I expect this to be a lot harder when time goes by, to be honest with you. And the reason why is... Uh, Uh, these restrictions are going to be the thing, right? Like, the bosses are typically easy when you have your choice of what you want, right? TPS Duchess? Oh, it's not close enough. DPS Lydia? Lydia? Yo! My angels, they going ham! Oh, you actually get the gear from here! Oh, shit! Baby, best of my mama. Huge. It's probably not going to be enough to justify changing over to it just yet, but huge. That's a sell. I'll hold on to the, the, the six stars for right now just to see how it feels, but we'll go from there. That's cool. So far, it seems like you could kind of just run it down. Matter of fact, go away. Let's just see. I expect this to get harder as you progress. Oh. Shame on you. It took you more than three turns. Trash build. Okay, so we got some restrictions. Ogryn Dwarves. I actually haven't thought this through, but this is going to be exciting. God, this would have been dope to have built up. I'm gonna have to work on that one because that's that's actually super convenient. I give it to you, no interruptions. Let's see what we can do. I'm about to get cooked. I'm here for it though. No troll, I'm here for it. To be honest with you, it would have been nice to have some something extra to work with here. These guys get cooked. Not a crazy speed in Fort. What happens when you kill them both? Is it just like that mechanic is gone? Okay. That wasn't too bad. Those charms are what I'm super happy about. Tell me amongst the boss fights and stuff like that. I see I see it mostly on the boss fights. What is that charm? Oh shit. Oh shit! I it just clicked. Yeah, I did already. Mine. Uh, let me see here. The craft mythical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Need to do some crafting. Ooh, no, we ain't touching nothing yet. We gonna farm. We gonna farm up for the month, and then and then we let loose. But how many mythic charms can you get in a rotation I see all this uh, all the red ones are where you can get the mythical charms at and then the boss fights yeah red the red fights which are awakened stages and then the the double boss fights is there any single boss fights doesn't look like it looks like it's all the doubles is there any double boss fight you guys are looking forward to fighting that seems difficult or no So far, that one wasn't too bad. That was fairly easy. But to be honest with you, that difficulty level seems to be pretty easy to deal with. So, like, these are going to be kind of squishers. So, what's the higher levels? You can kind of tell up here automatically, like, it goes up a little bit. 200, right? Compared to... Well, it's 200 over here, too, as well, I guess, huh? Never mind. 300. 
Good old Sand Devil. Do, 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 do. I wonder where Sand Devil goes. Hmm. Honestly, I'm probably going to wait until I clear most of this. So here's how I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to save all my resources. We still got a whole week to farm. Uh, I'm going to farm as much as I can for lethal. And then once I have all of the available charms for it. Uh, yeah, once I have the available charms for it done. we're gonna. We're, I'm going to be a completionist. I'm going to try to complete the entire map, to be honest with you guys. But I am going to make the race to see and unlock this to see how hard it's going to be. I believe this this boss is going to beat somebody's ass for a bit. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, and then we'll go from there. I don't I, I don't know. We'll see what to expect what to expect though. But that's so far so good. I mean, like this doesn't feel like it's too outside of the realm of like capability. Here's what I think a lot of players got to understand. You are looking at it from your perspective, right? But one thing I would say is that like you got to keep in mind that there's other players who are at like a weaker state of progression than you are. So, like, this type of content, especially since it's available at level 52, um, I think it was an intentionally designed to be a little bit more inclusive for players, which means that it is going to have to be a little bit easier so that players who are maybe not at your level are able to kind of also participate in. So, just keep that in mind. I do think, I do think that, like, the, the stages back here are going to be a lot harder than this one right here. I would also surmise that, like, Death Rise or Dead Rise and uh, Plague Home are going to be slightly, like, another step challenging. And then Soul, Ru Soul Crush would be, like, higher than that. That's the way they've advertised it to us, so. Wow, they're going to make you build some champions you normally wouldn't build. That is so clever. Touche, Ray. Touche. Okay. Well, it really depends on what else you got, right? That's basically it. It's really going to be, like, this is, a, this is a stress test on people's champion pools. And it's going to force us to have to build stuff that you normally wouldn't build. That's clever. That's very clever. That's very, very clever. Okay. They have my interest. This is just straight up more free resources that you didn't have to worry about before. From uh, using resources. This is the W about Curse City. One, it has its own form of, like, resource demand. It does not incorporate an already strained resource like energy. They have learned from their mistake when it comes to IT. W for Plarium. Then you're getting the said resources that are strained on top of other amenities. W for Plarium. Um, although some of this is rehashed content, that's a little bit of an L. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's still nice and it's still fun. I, I won't lie. So that might be low-key a W. Because, like, fighting two bosses at the same time, I was actually, like, not sure how this was going to look, right? And this is just the first boss. We don't know what it's going to look like when you start tackling some of the more higher ones, right? So that's going to be interesting to learn. And then, like, we don't know what we're going to be dealing with here. Well, we do now, but, like... Like, our methodology of how we, how we push content for these bosses is going to change. You can't just say Terminator Manipulate when you don't have Terminator Manipulators with this level of restriction, which is crazy. That's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be exciting to deal with. And I think I think that breathes new life into old content in a sense. It really does make you like, all right, how do I beat this without beating it the way I normally do it? it it's forcing us to, to, to create new ways to be content, which is kind of, that's a W in my opinion.